In the previous devotional, we talked about searching for the old proven good ways and not being carried off with the latest fad, kind of in the similar vein um, is this thought. Along with the rest of the world, especially in our day to day, anything that is considered old uh, or not so much old as much as ordinary, um, things that lack the um, sensationalism of being new, um, then they become ordinary and then they become, in our view, boring. And that attitude of, of treating, I guess we'd say, um, a fate worse than death is to be found boring or ordinary. And so the poor church tags along, desperately trying to catch up and keep current with um, the world and their splashiness and so forth is, is pathetic. It's grievous. Um, and so a little devotional that I came across by um, Tozer, and I'll just mention a part of it, but he says it's the sad thing that's going on in much of the church today is we seek glamour and we follow glamour rather than glory. Now, he didn't say this, but if you look the words up, it's interesting. The word glamour is an excitement and a, a kind of aura, a kind of splashiness that is attractive, but the attraction itself is generally an illusion. It's false. It's like the lives of glamorous people, Hollywood people, well-to-do people, whatever. They look exciting. They look like the kind of life we wish for. If we had the way, we would try to mimic it and we would hope to achieve to that. But if you ever did, or in some way you ever saw behind the scenes, it's empty. There's nothing there. It is illusory. So glamour, though it seems to be by far the most thing that's sought after today, even in the church, glamour is empty. It is a fake light. Glory is interesting because glory is greatness, honor, favor from God, and it is for the Christian not something that is an illusion, not something that we put on, but it's actually, the word glory is to reflect. And so the light in glamour we, it tries to come from within us. The light of glory comes from God, shining in our hearts and thus reflects. Glamour really then is of us. Glory is of God. And the, the shining face that God gives to a Christian is a light not of that person, but it's the light of Jesus shining on their face, through their life, through their attitudes, and it comes from our heart. It's, but it's God's light, not our pitiful, passing, empty, fading light. So we must be pursuers of glory, God's glory, not glamour. That's much of what's going on also in the so-called evangelical world today. You have these star preachers and the mega church and so forth. That's glamour. And it, it glamorizes the person, the preacher, the leader. It's not true. The glory of the Lord, which is the reflection of Jesus, is what we've got to seek for. Father in heaven, I pray that we would be humble in our hearts, and as Christians, we would seek not to shine ourselves, 
but that you would shine through us. Then and only then are we amounting to what you want us to be. You're not in the business of glorifying us, nor should we expect you to be. But we are here to reflect your glory. May we do that. In Jesus' name, amen.